Okay, here we have the Apex NVIDIA Apex Cloth Tool. I have my character in here. This gets a stock character from Moto 801. I created and rigged this cape and added it to it to work with uh, learning this uh, tool. I have the, no you can see the normals right now on there. I'm going to quickly go through and just show the settings. Um, input mesh when I painted the uh, backstop. I mean when I painted the max distance you can see where I painted and up at the top I didn't paint anything and you can also see that I only got the the cape highlighted okay you should see these settings here now for the backstop you can see I painted first I went through and I set paint to the negative region like negative 0.5 or something like that or smaller and I painted up to about this area here right across where it's pinned then I went through and I and I um, set the paint to a positive number a number uh, greater than zero and I painted the uh, yellow that you can see there and here you can see the settings and things and uh, deformable parameters deformable parameters I don't have enable CCD checked, so you might want to uncheck that. And every time I, uh, before I save the asset out, like I'll give you an example, I see it working the good there. We change the direction of the wind, see how it's stopping against his legs. My next challenge is to make sure I can get it to stop against his legs in the Unreal Engine, which it should do if it's obeying the Apex file. In his back area here, I did not, um, I collapsed that, that collision volume, so I expect to see it to go through the back there, but I expect the thighs and the legs to stop the mesh, as you can see it's doing right now. Change the direction of the wind back some. Okay. All right. Now the next step will be to uh, go into the, uh, into UE, UE4. I'll make another video showing how I set up the character in Moto 801 so you can do this with your character and you'll be able to do this without any Autodesk Maya or 3DS Max because NVIDIA, the video, um, the video graphics card company gives this tool away free and the files can be used in game engines like UE4.